part two of my foray into She-Hulk and I'm on camera now. I was in Florida away from all my camera equipment so I couldn't film myself but now I am in Chicago again and I'm doubling up on episodes. I'm reacting to episode two and three because episode two was just such a nothing it was, yeah, it's a nothing. But I've stated this before that phase four shows are basically just six to eight hour films cut up into episodes of television, which makes some episodes feel very empty and worthless because usually that's the downtime of the film where you can just go take a shit and come back later and you wouldn't have missed anything. Let's get it on. A little bit more. It's true. I am a Hulk. <laughs> and I twitch. I'm just now noticing that eye twitch right there. What happened to me? Previously I'm on... I'm sorry. No, no. You know what I hate about television is the previously on sections, especially when the show isn't really that complicated. This isn't some kind of complex show where I need to be reminded like, oh, where were the intricate plots, you know, that I may have missed? It's just an MCU show. We know, we, we know, we know what happened in the last episode. We know. Nothing. And the whole streaming service thing, doesn't that kind of render the whole previously on thing completely meaningless? Like you could just go back and watch the episode and it's only gonna take 25 fucking minutes. Oh, skip. 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 Or super powered influencer Titania. Super influence. <laughs> oh, y'all testing my fucking patience. They think they're so clever that somehow they can do the Robocop satire thing. Now I gotta put my glasses on to read the shit. Titania's lawyers say entire incident was an unfortunate misunderstanding and the result of extreme case of low blood sugar. <sighs> Turn into a Hulk, like like a chick Hulk, a She Hulk. Exactly. I th yeah, I I was hoping that they would cut out the black dude and replace him. Like there's some crazy cat lady. I love it. This show is all about uh being progressive, but then they put in like the stereotypical overexcited black guy talks to the news guy trope. That's for you. No, no. Why are they like chanting it? Oh, uh, that's some autism. <laughs> That's for somebody called She-Hulk, which can't possibly be what they're calling me. I mean, it's better than Bitch Hulk. So wait a minute, you're telling me. <laughs> she had a hoodie that was like six feet long. <laughs> like as far as she, when she went in, she was wearing like a hoodie and it was kind of baggy. Now she's She-Hulk and it go, it's like basically a dress. Like I would love to have seen a wide shot of her in that fucking hoodie. It would all goes all the way down her fucking ankles. It's so dumb. I can't even exist without being a derivative of the Hulk. You literally, quite literally, are. You literally have this man's blood inside of you. <laughs> Neat little trick you pulled there, Walters. But don't you think it's a little unsportsmanlike to suddenly debut superpowers just to drum up publicity for yourself? Only you would think that. And that's really stupid. That's very, very, a very, very stupid thing to think for anybody, even this character. Like someone busted into a courtroom and tried to kill people <laughs> and she had superpowers, so she used them to the best of her ability to to save the day. You want me to think this character's dumb. Okay, but like, you can't be this dumb and be a lawyer. She looks like green Michael Jackson right there. Nepotism, you knew it. Take a lap, Dennis. Yeah, come on, Dennis. There's a hot chick over there. I'm gonna go talk to it. Oh my God, it's like American Psycho, but for retards. But you could be an Avenger. Mm. Do the Avengers offer healthcare? I don't know. Maternity leave, a pension, are they even paid? <laughs> That's the fuck up! <laughs> On the maternity leave tip, I mean, considering one of them created their children with magic and the other had their insides forcibly scooped out, uh, I'm thinking probably not. What kills me is, is if you even try to criticize this shit, like, well, why won't you pay respect to the serious issues that your franchise brought up? The fucking consumers will immediately, well, it's a fucking comedy. And my rebuttal would be, you can still have a comedy and not write your show like the previous 10 years didn't matter. Here's the thing though, Hulk Jen is a total snack. Yeah, like the celery right? stick that falls <laughs> underneath your refrigerator for two weeks. We didn't win the case. Since you saved the lives of the entire jury today, GLK and H argued that the jury was then biased in your favor. Well, Jen, I'm sorry, I have to let you go. That That's bullshit. Why not tell her to recuse herself? That is a thing, right? For lawyers? Why not just switch lawyers? Well, you tainted it. People kind of like you, you now more. Uh-huh. <laughs> 
Yeah, we're firing you. You're just too awesome. We have to fire you. <laughs> this is, there might be a certain bias uh, 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 against uh, the other person because you save people. Isn't the whole point to try to look more virtuous than the other side? Law firms, aren't they all about like winning ratios? They don't really give a shit who you defend as long as you win. So like, why the fuck is she being fired? I don't know, I could be wrong, but that doesn't make sense. We can't hire a lawyer who's such a big distraction in court. Actually, I wouldn't hire her if she had that cheesy grin on her face either. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, we're not hiring you. You seem like you're mentally ill, I'm sorry. Hi, uh, sweetheart. Oh, you worthless piece of garbage. Come here. You don't have to worry about getting fired. I already told everyone, so it won't be awkward. No one's going to bring it up. You gotta fire him. Chad! Chad! Hey, what do you want me to do? I'm a male character on an MCU property. Blah, 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 blah. Look at my stupid hair! Back to Hawkeye. It's pretty hazardous to believe. Oh, yeah. Don't you just hate people who love you? <laughs> of course, this bitch would be sitting around like in a vegetative, angry state because people love her. <laughs> it's like, I hate that it got revealed in this way. Like, in front of the whole world. I love how they have to create problems to make a, a Hulk to be right, but they softball these problems to still put it in Jen's favor. It's so annoying. Like I don't have any Hulk freakouts or anything because I'm still pretty much normal, but green, but it's still costing me jobs for some uh, nonsensical fucking reason. Well, maybe I should have just let those people get smushed by that desk. Sweetheart. <laughs> this fucking man of steel logic over here. Maybe I should have just let those people get smushed by that desk. Maybe. I'd like to offer you a job. <laughs> is this a joke? Yes, it is. The writing of this show is a joke on the audience. I would like you to come work for us. You got me fired, now you want to hire me. You know what would have been better and made more sense and would make more sense? Is that if she got fired because he set it up because he wanted her for himself, for his company, and burned her with every law firm in the city. That actually would have been fine because that would make sense. <laughs> we just started a superhuman law division and I want you, well, the She-Hulk, to be the face of it. That means I'll expect you to be at work and in court as the She-Hulk. Well, oh, you didn't explain this shit to me before I walked in here all dressed up with my suitcase. Like now you tell me I'm a diversity hire. Now you tell me that. <laughs> This way, please. You think a law firm that specializes in superhuman disputes wouldn't be so surprised to see a, a seven foot green bitch and being in a world where superheroes fucking exist, but this is She-Hulk and we have to be stupid to make things work. Okay, this sucks. I am totally qualified, but now everyone around here is always gonna think this is the only reason I got the job. These dodos never had to deal with this on their first day at work. They're not mutants. Like, well, of course not. You could say that about like some of the women of color you passed in the hallway. They never had to deal with being a seven foot green monster. Of course not. It's not because they're white men. It's just because they're human beings. What do you think about it? I'm agnostic. I think I have a cream for that. <laughs> I'm a banana. I just found out the only reason they hired me is because they wanted a Hulk lawyer in the superhuman law division. Yes, but look at everything it's getting us. Yeah, tokenism, it's bad, but look at all the yes. stuff. Like you think there'd be some kind of commentary on tokenism, but this is the same show that said cat calling more traumatic than everything the Hulk has ever been through. Because woman, considering that Marvel is now the face of tokenism. Oh, uh, of course they wouldn't see anything wrong with this. <laughs> I'm gonna have to buy an entirely new wardrobe just to come to work. I'm gonna have to buy a whole new wardrobe. Like your wardrobe seems to be suiting you just fine. Everywhere you go, your clothes fit. Hi there, I'm Paul. I'm, I'm your residential cook. <laughs> Some office supplies to get you started, snacks, and a map to the best bathroom for both. Thank you. Uh, yeah, that's not weird. I totally don't think that you have a toilet cam just waiting for my puckered hole. Like, I wanted to see women pooping. Um, the best bathroom for pooping. Ah. I'm all for uh, hospitality, but that's just weird. Your Wait. first case is the parole of Emil Blonsky. I would much prefer to be assigned literally any other case at this firm. If you don't take the case, then you don't have a job here. I mean, you have to. He's the only reputable actor in this I shit. <laughs> hey, welcome to New Detroit. Like this is very 80s to 90s dystopia shit. Oh. Walter. That seems very dangerous. 
Like, what if it doesn't sense you in time? What if you try to run through it way too fast? Why can't it just, I don't know, fucking turn on and off? Like, why can't you just turn it off while you, fuck it. Fuck it. The prisoner is a very dangerous man. You're gonna serve me up with some fava beans and a nice can. Ma'am. Shut the fuck up. If I wanted to hear movie references, I'd take my black ass to MCU Twitter. Jennifer Waters. Waters. Mr. Blonsky, I, I was expecting- Abomination, right? Yes. Yeah, well, yeah, stupid. Do you not remember things that you just learned a minute ago? Do not step past the yellow line. <laughs> Is your idiot brain getting fucked by stupid? I'm simply a male now. Russian born, British raised, Royal Marines commando. In case you haven't seen the 2008 Hulk film and you don't understand why a white man with a British accent has a Russian name, does he just point it out for the dullards? <laughs> okay. With seven soul mates that I met through the prison pen pound program that I want to start a new life with. Uh, wow. So for a lawyer, she just like, how do you not have anything to say? Like, I'm blah, 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 stammering and shit. Your whole fucking job is talking and being charismatic. But then you went on a destructive rampage in Harlem that wasn't sanctioned by the government. Yeah, because they pumped me full of that super soldier serum. That you wanted. Yeah, you know, if I could take what I know now, put it in the body I had 10 years ago, that would be someone I wouldn't want to fight. I could probably arrange something like that. The serum the government gave you caused your subsequent actions? I, mean, I thought uh, I thought I was the good guy. Target's on the move. <laughs> I thought I was gonna be, you know, Captain Bloody America. I want what you got out of Ben, I want that. You look like you've got a little something in you already, don't you? Uh, I want more. I don't know what you've got inside you already. The mixture could be an abomination. I didn't say I was unwilling. I thought I was the good guy. This nigga was clearly lying. I mean, I want to believe that he is manipulating her right now, or the writers just don't know what the fuck happened in that film. I want to give this show the benefit of a doubt, but I've, I've seen too much. I, I've seen too much incompetence. <laughs> hey, Jen, what's up? What's up? <laughs> Like, open up your mouth, nigga. Actually, Blonsky wrote me a really nice letter a while back. And a really heartfelt haiku. So we put everything behind us. Yeah, we and destroyed Harlem so together. He was bloodthirsty and had a lust for literally. power. But he sent me a fucking haiku and we're good. Are you, sure you, okay? <laughs> you coming to LA anytime soon? Yeah, probably not for a minute. I got some things I gotta take care of. Wait a minute. So that same ship that made them crash into the woods is the same one he's on now in space. Uh, uh. So what? So wait, wait, what? <laughs> so when they crashed, did the people in the ship come down and like pick him up and then send him home? And then they picked him up again later after Jen left? Tell me the mechanics of that. I don't understand that. Showing the abomination participating in what appears to be an underground fight club after having somehow escaped from prison. Oh, that sucks. I agree with the hideous crone. That was episode two. Weak. <laughs> I'm sorry. Previously, like, we know, we know, we know. Stop showing this shit. Like, we already know how dumb this was. You don't need to explain it again. Yeah, that's still not safe. <laughs> Who forced you to escape this insanely high security prison undetected? A sorcerer supreme of the mystic arts, and his name is... Mega Faggot. He's either a sorcerer who lives in New York or a librarian who lives in Nepal. Oh, he's got a LinkedIn or whatever the fuck that is. Isn't it funny? Ha 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 ha. This is gonna be painful to say, but Jimmy Kimmel did this joke and he did it better because it actually fit the situation. It was a good setup. Oh, oh, what is it? No, no vanquishing. Just pull a rabbit out of somewhere, do tricks. A rabbit? Yeah. Look, I think there's been a misunderstanding. I don't do tricks. This clearly says the mightiest magician in the cosmos. <laughs> you know, everyone exaggerates their LinkedIn profile. That's actually funny. But this is just like, oh, sorcerer person on LinkedIn. <laughs> That's it. Can you get to him? Yes, Jen. It's me. Of course I can get to him. I sent a thirst trap. It was a picture of me with a bunch of books. A bunch of books with your titties hanging out? Just because he's a sorcerer doesn't mean he don't like some big ass milkers. 
I know you can't wait to see Wong. Watch the road because the last time you didn't, you nearly killed yourself and your cousin. And what was that music cuts? The fuck was that? I know you can't wait to see Wong. No, we just saw the multiverse of madness. We, we're all full up on Wong, okay? <laughs> I just want to make sure that you don't think this is one of those cameo every week type of shows. Well, except Bruce and Blonsky. And Wong. See, it's funny because the writers actually so do depend on shameless action. cameos in order to prop up a show that would otherwise be fucking canceled after the first couple of episodes because it sucks. <laughs> See, our incompetence is funny. We put more effort into that in instead of actually trying to not be incompetent. Just remember whose show this actually is. Sweetie, we're just waiting for Matt Murdock to show up. So cut out all that smug bullshit, please. Ew, why does he look like that? <laughs> why is his head so much smaller than the rest of him. Uh, excuse me, everyone. I have more shit to read. She Hulk, not real. Superhero hoax. What? And it only has 214 views. For one thing, they wouldn't recommend you these videos right here. These would not be upfront in the in the related videos. Why are they here? <laughs> Superhero hoax, which doesn't make sense because they live in a universe where superheroes exist. So if she were to pop up, it would not be a huge deal. Like they tried to do this shit with Supergirl. It, it didn't make sense then. And it doesn't make sense now. You're a woman. <laughs> How could you be a super? In la última hora, el hashtag the big green woman. People would have come up with a much better hashtag than that. The jolly green Gina. Come on. I just came up with it right there. We gotta have affirmative action with superheroes. No more female superheroes, please. Why are you turning every superhero into a girl? Nobody asked for it. Uh, this doesn't even make sense in context of the show because superheroes exist in this world is different from actually scripting a fictional show gender swapping and all this type of shit just to get woke points because you don't want people to notice how bad the writing is is a fucking difference why everything gotta be female now it doesn't make this doesn't make sense so we have a me too movement and now all the male heroes are gone the writers are morons oh my god they were dirty i don't know about y'all but i'd smash that's the only thing that that's actually internet accurate i'd fuck that disgusting and green bitch because i have no standards what the f <laughs> um this reminds me of something hang on let me find it let me find it uh there it is <laughs> there it is God, David Byrne with a jolly green Gina head. <laughs> what is with that? She just had a form fitting suit on a, an episode ago. And now she's look like she's wearing her daddy's suit. <laughs> what the fuck? And the way she walks is terrible. What is the CGI? What the hell? <laughs> the CGI is better guys. Remember, remember the CGI is better now because it just is. <laughs> you got a fucking Tesla, a nice apartment. I mean, you're a lawyer. See a tailor. The way she walks, she just dump a dump a dump a dump. <laughs> you lanky bitch! <laughs> oh, that is bad CGI right there. Do you see, like, oof, she's bad. Mallory Book is also in the superhuman lot of it. Yeah. No, I can't talk to a 10 about embarrassing man stuff. She could be my next fiance. <sighs> you know, it's really hard to take uh, like the themes of sexism against women seriously. When every example of sexism is like fucking over the top and ridiculous to the point where you just roll your eyes and you're like, yeah, that doesn't happen. I'm completely shutting down and ignoring it. Y'all don't take it seriously. So why should anyone else take it seriously? Like really? <laughs> like I said, it's like American Psycho, but with all of the clever satire and humor just sucked right out of it. It's just dumb. Well, to be fair, I thought I was dating Megan the Stallion. I'm sorry, what? Sorry, you thought you were dating Megan the Stallion? What part of Shapeshifter did you not get? <laughs> you thought she drove a Passat? And I thought the MTU could do believable CGI. This is, this is the part of the episode that pissed me off because it's clear that he was actually like really taken advantage of. It's not like he was talking with this chick over the internet and never seen what she looked like or met her in person. It's a different thing than someone shapeshifting and making you believe there's someone else. He was like manipulated by magic. How the fuck is a normal person supposed to know that they're being manipulated by magic? What, what kind of like irritates me is that if this were a female character who got duped into thinking she, thinking she was dating Henry Cavill in person, 
and then they fucked several times and he extorted money from her there we would have to have sympathy for this character but because it's a guy and it's dennis who's barely even a character he's barely even a speck on a piece of paper that's how one-dimensional he is we're supposed to think oh isn't that funny now i'm hoping i'm praying they did that they did not sleep together now, if they did, that opens up a whole new can of worms. And that, that, it, it, that that's just gonna piss me off. I extracted him from the prison uh, against his own wishes because I required a worthy opponent as part of my training to become Sorcerer Supreme. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So to become Sorcerer Supreme, you have to battle one mutant against another? What? <laughs> I didn't see Shang-Chi because I didn't give a single shit about that film. I saw one clip and I was like, I mean, y'all got this second rate asshole to just imitate Jackie Chan. I could just watch the real Jackie Chan. Fuck off. Plus, it didn't look the plot made that much sense. Like, so, you know, that's a whole different story. Let's continue. I am not the one who will be punishing him. The parole board will not release him after seeing this video. We'll send him to the mirror dimension. I don't know what that is, but no. Shadow dimension? Like Wong doesn't know what jails are. Like <laughs> I understand like he's a sorcerer and he spends most of his time being a sorcerer, but he doesn't know what what jail is. He doesn't know what like laws are. He's drinking a Red Bull. It's funny because he's a douchebag. It's funny. I love harassing women in the workplace. It's my kick. God, this is the dumbest shit I've ever seen. Let that be a warning. I don't. You guys know me. Yeah, see, if they did know you, uh, you wouldn't have to say that. Especially since we saw uh, you walk out after the other you transformed into an old crone. Like, we we, we get it. If I could may I clarify? N no. Blair, Ruth, Marta, Sheila, Alejandra. Brenda, Letitia. Linda, Felicia, Dawn, LaShawn. Donnell, and Alicia. <laughs> He's helped countless prisoners learn how to read. I'm lawyering the a witness will explain if he ever decides to show up. I know you want to leave me. <laughs> the fucking way he read it at Mike. That was so David Ruffin. <laughs> Excuse me, your honor, but Asgard is not a place. It is a people. Therefore, I Thor's have... inspirational speeches are not admissible in court. <laughs> Okay, that was funny. That was funny. My client and Mr. Bukowski were in a consensual relationship and engaged in role play. Oh, gross. No rational adult would have believed my client's texts were from the real Megan the Stallion. Mr. Bukowski knew he was dating Miss Runa and went along with it until it no longer suited him. Okay, so they fucking clearly state that they had a sexual fucking relationship. Um... They kind of make it seem like he just texted her, but I'm like, he spent 175K on someone that he never saw in person. That sounds like horseshit. So it's kind of fuzzy whether or not they fucked in real life. I don't know, but if they did, that's like sexual assault it, and possibly rape. And uh, that's... Uh, but then if they didn't have sex and it was just like an online thing, that's kind of stupid because like, why wouldn't you just meet him in person and make him think that you were actually Megan Thee Stallion? It'd be a lot easier if you like laid it on him. Like it'd still be unethical and rape. But why, why just deceive him over text when you can literally fucking shapeshift? The reason people d dupe other people over text or Instagram or something like that is because they cannot do what you do. They cannot make themselves into who they're impersonating. So they gotta do, they gotta be, do it in a shady way. So what, like, but you have superpowers. Why the fuck w wouldn't you meet him in person? I guess they knew like, yeah, we can't condone rape even if it is a man. So we gotta make it seem like it's role play over text, but that doesn't work. A woman would get a lot more sympathy than this. I just saw a fucking article, two articles talking about women being duped by a Henry Cavill Instagram account and how they funneled money to the guy, despite him, of course, not being the real Henry Cavill. When it's a woman, like people do reports on this saying, oh, this poor woman got duped, but him, he should have known better. He should have been smarter, blah, 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 which I do agree on some level, but would that show extend that same tough love to a woman? I don't think so. Impersonating a judge is illegal. Get down from there. <laughs> How did no one see her do that? Excuse me. If I could just put your minds at ease. No. It's fine. Jen. Please, we don't want people to see how bad our CGI really is. Please don't do it. Like this frame right here just, just tells me that 
that Tim Roth is taking the piss. He does not give a fuck and I love him for it. Like he's like, oh, I'm making myself big. I'm inflating like a balloon man. Yeah, and they just cut away because they don't want to spend the money on the effect that it would take to show him transform. Hilarious. As you can see, I'm in full control. His voice sounds the exact same as the before. They just, they just, they just don't give a fuck anymore. You realize that you've just admitted to facilitating a prisoner escape, which is a crime. I must depart. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was funny. That was funny. And then I get to my car and some protester has written on it, monster defending a monster. You're telling me as a lawyer, you've never experienced that before. Like maybe you defended a rapist, armed robber, Hunter Biden. Well, I don't want this. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm such a nothing character. <laughs> she doesn't do a fucking thing, but give positive reassurance to our lead character. It's just completely useless. Good God, Dennis Bukowski. Oh yeah, no, you're gonna need that. Connecting the A and B story, nice. <laughs> Her fourth wall breaks aren't even funny. They feel more like little reminders for the low attention span fans of the show. Where's the joke at? There isn't one. We're connecting the A and B plot. Duh. Like no shit. You got anything to add to that? <laughs> How did you two work with him for so long? The man is almost terminally deluded. He's terminally deluded, but like she thinks she's better than the Hulk. Yeah, he is the only terminally deluded one in this cast. Okay. Hey, would you be willing to say that under oath? I don't like your face. I don't like you. I don't like your presence. I'm a scat man. He once described himself as a New York 10 and an LA 11. He nicknamed his office the Denisphere. Objection. Relevant. And if he's so delusional, why doesn't he just like accept what she's saying? Like, yeah, I'm awesome. Like that's what, what someone like him would do. Like my office is the dentist sphere, bitch. Like, but he's not, he's like getting defensive. Like when someone like him would not get defensive. It's not right for a woman to read. Soon she starts getting ideas and thinking. Gaston, you are positively primeval. <laughs> Thank you, Belle. Do you think that Dennis Bukowski would believe that he could actually pull Megan the stallion? Is Megan the stallion such a fucking elegant prize that she wouldn't go for some douchebag who would spend over a hundred grand on her and then that she would later dump. She literally lied that someone shot her in the fucking foot. She tried to frame a man for aggravated assault. A man's career had been completely derailed as a result of something that was said by this superstar, Megan Thee Stallion. He was blackballed from the industry, one of his best albums he ever put together. Didn't even make it on the new releases page on Spotify. All because of what one woman said. Nobody seemed to care about the fact that the woman, her best friend that was in their car, along with Megan Thee Stallion, along with Tory Lane, for some reason didn't come out and confirm Megan's story. Very strange. Recently, Megan the stallion went and got on some interview and she got on there she did the crocodile tears you feel me said that tori lanes shot her however new information is coming out today dr lafredo who treated megan the stallion confirmed her foot was wounded due to her stepping on glass wow did you shoot with her? I did, and it was, you know, the best day of my life. It was so great. Like, she's really, like, this regal, smart, wonderful actor, mm -hmm. and just, like, powerful. Wow. Is your idiot brain getting fucked by stupid? You expect me to believe that Megan the Stallion, this, this pure, chaste woman who would have gone for his scraggly ass? Yes. Yes. We also sentenced the defendant to 60 days for impersonating a judge. Only 60 days for impersonating a judge? That doesn't even make sense. But then again, the showrunner and writers have stated that they don't know how to fucking write law shit, so it's not that surprising. That's right, there's only one Megan Thee Stallion. Ah. Hey, do you guys think I have a shot with the real Megan Thee Stallion? Should I go back? No, no, please don't. Actually, you dodged an even bigger bullet not being with the real Megan Thee Stallion. I wish there was a way we could remove her powers and make sure she doesn't victimize anyone else. Did Dennis Bukowski just give me an idea? I have an idea. Stop using these fourth wall breaks to announce obvious fucking plot points that we just heard and actually have a joke. That's Faith. She looks like if someone was letting the air out of Sigourney Weaver. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> as much as I hate this show, it's given me a lot of laughs. We hereby grant Mr. Blonsky's release on parole effective immediately. Yes. As a condition of his parole, Mr. Blonsky is prohibited from turning into abomination indefinitely. And 
is ordered to wear an inhibitor in perpetuity. Oh, so wait, now the inhibitor is like an in-universe thing? Now it like it's, this technology is just common? When before it was supposed to be a prototype specifically for Bruce, now it's for him. <laughs> just right. It's like, use a brain cell before you do it. She-Hulk. Yeah, my name's Jennifer Walters, not She-Hulk. 12 seconds later. How did you come up with the name She-Hulk? Oh, funny story, I didn't. Um, some random guy on the news came up with it. Uh, so now whether I like it or not, I am forever She-Hulk. Then why the fuck did you correct him a minute ago? When we come back, She-Hulk shares her diet and exercise secrets. I'm sorry, what? Okay, that wasn't funny, but you know what would have been funny? If he had said, oh, She-Hulk, and by the way, we would just love to know your dieting and exercise secrets. And it would have been funny if she came back with, um, gamma radiation, and then it just cut away. <laughs> that would have been funny. Where the hell was that? I gotta keep rewinding it because it doesn't look like anywhere she is. Plus you have a glowing orange fucking helmet on. Anyone would have seen you. There's no way she wouldn't have seen you. She, you were right there. He literally launched himself into her arms. He just went head first into her arm. That is so dumb. It's like she doesn't even have to try to do anything because everyone else around her is so stupid. <laughs> And I don't understand why Asgardian technology wouldn't hurt her. It doesn't seem to be putting a dent in her at all. I mean, I don't know, maybe magic doesn't um, hurt people with gamma radiation, but I don't know, it just doesn't make sense to me. Cause I remember specifically Hulk getting booyasted by Thor's hammer. So the fact that she's not really being hurt here is just like, Meh. So what, they were trying to extract her blood? Why? Uh, is the candy man about to pop up? What the fuck is this music? Just, just your signature there. Could you reel it in for five fucking seconds? You almost tasted that. Num, 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 eat it up. Hopefully, oh. Turn it off. You know I'm the hottest. You ain't never got it. Turn it off. You are way more fun than my last lawyer. I will kill for you, Megan Thee Stallion. Solid back. Body, yaddy, yaddy. Ah! All right. <laughs> Stop it. All right, stop for a bit. All right, there's a lot of shit wrong with that I, that I don't pe think a lot of people realize. Like, of course we can look at it and just say, oh, hey, uh, scene cringy. But there's a lot more wrong with this. Jennifer Walters is specifically supposed to cater to superhuman people. That's why they hired her in the first place. But she's representing Megan the Stallion now. Is Megan the Stallion some kind of mutant that we don't, well, she probably is. It doesn't just doesn't make sense that she's being represented by her, whatever. One second they're like signing papers and then the next they're dancing and twerking together to her music, which is tacky. It's like what happened in between? Cause there's no like dialogue or camaraderie between the two while they're signing the papers. It just goes from one scene to the next. And also she, she was complaining about not being taken seriously as a lawyer because she's a woman and, and whatnot, but she's all, but she's up in here twerking in her office to loud fucking music in front of her entire firm. They all can see her like it's a very spacious and open, we can see that shit. Even her boss sees her doing it. Not to mention like we just had an episode where we were supposed to feel very afraid for this woman being catcalled and, and sexually harassed by men. Now she's just, like I said, just twerking. It kind of goes against the messaging this show was trying to convey. I mean, the catcalling scene already was kind of hypocritical because she had to get dressed up like a whore in order for these men to get into their mind that they could uh, catcall her. As if what she was wearing was inviting that level of attention. They're already like inconsistent with what they're trying to say. So it's not that far off that they'd be inconsistent again. I mean, I'd be humiliated if my boss walked in on me, opening and closing my cheeks and jiggling it in front of my other coworkers. I'd be fucking humiliated. Let's get down to the, uh, the twerking thing and why that doesn't work. <laughs> it's like you're buffing a rocking chair with your ass. It doesn't... <laughs> especially the look on her face, which is just horrifying. And she's wearing that same fucking David Byrne suit from earlier. She had no ass in that suit. So I feel like the animators had to go in and expand her ass a little bit. So it would look like Megan the Stallions. I'm like, are you wearing men's shoes? What the fuck is that? Can you imagine just like animating this horse shit? I will kill for you, Megan the Stallion. Solid back. Okay, and then there's that. Apparently, like what brought on this whole thing was Tatiana Maslany is also a big fan of uh, Megan the Stallion. Coincidentally, I guess they kind of incorporated that into She-Hulk's character. 
character. But the thing is, it looks a lot less funny obsessive and more scary obsessive. I look at the look on her face and her clenching her fist like that. I mean, look, she's got the Arthur fist. <laughs> she's so imposing over her. Like, it's not funny. It's just like, yeah, dial it back. Stop. Don't do that. I feel like you're gonna rip my tits off. And also Megan the Stallion can't act her way out of a paper bag. She sucks. Like, how do you fucking fail at acting like yourself? And like you could have given her a better role than this. A better role than herself. <laughs> yaddy, 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 yaddy. Anyway, uh, yeah, this 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 sucks. This is fucking terrible. Yeah, so overall, episode three, uh <clears throat> Yeah, we're back on track with the bullshit. And I feel like it's only gonna get worse from here because we still gotta bring in Matt Murdock and we know that's gonna be a shit show. We, we know he's gonna get ruined. They can't even write courtroom scenes, obviously. And then you're gonna have one of the best fucking lawyers, not only in the MCU, but on television to do like lawyer scenes. This isn't gonna end well. This isn't gonna, and considering the tone of the show, it's just, how does it, no, no. I think the death nail for this show is gonna be when they introduce Matt Murdock. We still have defenders of this show, despite all of the garbage. There are still people who think this is a good show, but I think the Matt Murdock thing is going to break the conditioning. It's gonna wake a lot of people the fuck up. If it doesn't, then God help us all. Do you wanna support the channel? I'm on Subscribestar now, or you can donate to my PayPal, whichever works for you. Or you can like the video, subscribe, yeah, do all that shit. But yeah, thanks for watching and bye.